All right, hello everybody. Uh, the sun is just hitting this perfectly uh, to cast this halo effect. And welcome to episode two of our Friday, Fun Friday video series. Obviously I'm outside, the weather is beautiful here and I'm just super excited about life in general. One of the things that <clears throat> I wanted to talk about that I mentioned last week on our first episode was on creating value within a firm, not getting labeled, and kind of understanding the career trajectories within uh, AE firms. One of the biggest things that I often see is people that are really, really talented with like BIM and processes. Um, and to a point, I kind of was that guy in uh, firms I worked in, but is getting labeled as like the BIM guy, right? <laughs> or the BIM person. And being that, you typically get stuck in like a BIM manager, uh, content creator role to fix all the problems within it. Now, if you want that role, it's awesome, right? Just be the guy that everybody goes to for for BIM, for all that content, for all those types of stuff. It's a it can be a really really good place to be. But if you're wanting more, if you're wanting to go to leadership, to um, you know being a principal, to running projects, all that type of stuff, the thing that I don't think it's talked about often enough, or maybe understood enough is you have to be good at sales. You have to be good at converting clients, maintaining those relationships with clients and making them your own. That's how, if you look across your firm, more often than not, how all the principals became principals is they had clients, they developed those relationships and they, they moved up. And that is how in any firm, really, I mean, sales are the some of the highest paid people in any organization because that brings in and gives work to everybody right? <laughs> sales is what creates work for the rest of the team. And I didn't understand this for the longest time. And it probably held back my growth in the firms that I worked in uh, for, for a long time. So one of the biggest things that I really want to convey and just to help, you know, it's ultimately why I'm here. It's ultimately why I do podcasts. A lot of this stuff is is to help you guys to help understand some of the the trajectories that you go through as a firm, the finances, uh, doing finances better, money management, all those types of things are, are really, it's a big deal that I don't think it's covered often enough. And even, even if you are leadership within a firm, it's to help your people understand that their career trajectories, where they can go, what, what are the next steps for them in, in, in a career? What are some ways that you can manage money better? Like how to deal with cash flow, all that type of stuff. That's what I'm going to cover here in this video series. We'll do finances on, on one. We'll talk about uh, winning work, marketing strategies that you can use to, to bring more clients in. All sorts of things to really help you as a firm grow and ultimately, you know, do better in less time, right? That's our bit more results, less time. That's that's what we're here for and that we strive to continue to do for for you guys, uh, and we'll do it here through this video series, uh, podcasts, all the kind of stuff. Um, all of our content really is geared around that this simple concept to help you as an AE firm in the construction industry do better, win more work, get more results, and do it in less time. So again, today's video, the, the biggest point was to understand, uh, you know, whether for management to understand and, and help people to understand the career trajectories that are within your firm, the opportunities that exist and really allow them to, to pick a track and excel in it, be great in it. You know, not everyone's going to do sales. Some are going to be project managers, um, or internal stuff. Some are going to be BIM managers. Some are going to, you know, want to do business development, right. And to allow those people to excel in those roles, put the right people in the right seats on the bus so that you can go as fast as possible. It's the ultimate thing. And then for anybody in the looking to find a place, right? It's understanding what you want to do, what you're great at and discovering those innate talents and then having conversations with management to then, you know, figure out what seat you belong in, right? So management's role is to see, see the greatness within you. And your job is to find your greatness and then express that to management so that everybody is familiar and knows what they can do to help you become great so guys that's uh this little episode it was friday fun friday episode and uh thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one